So I served in St. Louis twice. So six months the first time, four transfers, and then three transfers my second time when I was serving as a Spanish missionary. And I feel like I got to know the whole city because especially the second time, the whole city was my area. So there are three stakes in St. Louis, but we got to cover all three. So I feel like I knew it pretty well. There's the main city of St. Louis, which is actually one of two cities in the United States that not, that's not in a county. So St. Louis doesn't have a county, it's just St. Louis. There is a St. Louis County, but it's the outskirts and the other cities that they have. But the best thing about St. Louis as far as culture is the food. <laughs> barbecue, is St. Louis barbecue, I was converted. And we, we went a lot. <laughs> The missionary gives you a certain mission. The mission gives you a certain amount of money a month for food, and I feel like we might have sacrificed some groceries and maybe some personal health care products and to have a little more money for barbecue joints. But I loved it. The you get a lot of variety in St. Louis as well. The inner city. If you want to see what an inner city is like, go to St. Louis or across the river in East St. Louis. That's a pretty rough town too. Um, the one th cool thing I'd like to share about that is I was never scared. It's interesting because you know st louis east st louis and like detroit kind of compete for the most dangerous city in the united states but no matter where i went i was with my companion we were doing what we we're supposed to do i was never scared we played it smart we didn't go into areas we shouldn't have after dark but i know that god protects his missionaries i've had people come up to us and say like like these are gang members you know tattoos guns everything and say hey anyone ever messes with you guys Tell us, we'll, let, we'll take care of it. Like, well, that won't be necessary. But people, people respect the missionaries down there. They call them the Jesus people. And I never felt scared when I was in St. Louis. So that's the inner city area. Really cool, lots of culture, lots of brick buildings, really cool stuff. You've got the arch, the river. As you get farther out, it's more like suburbs, you know, quiet streets with towns. I lived across the Missouri River, which is just north of St. Louis, in St. Charles for a while. We had an apartment there. That's a really nice town. They've got a nice boardwalk. We watched the fireworks there for 4th of July. St. Louis has a lot of culture, a lot of diversity, and just learn to love it. Like, you meet awesome people. I had a companion who was originally from Mexico, and his first day out on the streets in inner St. Louis, city of St. Louis, he's like, man, I didn't understand a thing those guys said. I'm like, you'll get used to it. Like, that's me trying to learn Spanish. It's great. <laughs> it's, there's cool people that you'll meet. I like St. Louis a lot. A lot of people work for Boeing there. Boeing has a big headquarters there. A lot of our members work there, engineering and computer science people. We have a lot of people that worked for Monsanto. Whether you like them or not, it's the, the GMO company that manufactures food and seeds like that. Um, we rode the buses a lot. If you're in St. Louis, anywhere in the city, at least as an elder, sisters had cars, but the elders, we learned to know the bus system by, by heart. I made a little cardboard box filled with bus schedules and Every night before our, week, before our day, we'd have our weekly planning session and our daily planning session. We'd say, okay, we need to get to this place at three o'clock and this place at five o'clock. We'd lay out all our bus schedules, look at the timetables and write them down in your planner. And when the day comes, you, okay, pull the bus schedule. Okay, we gotta catch this one. So you're running to catch the bus, to catch the train, to catch another bus, to get across town and meeting people the whole way. That's the great part about it is if you're on a bus, you've got people to talk to. A lot better than sitting in a car listening to Motab on the stereo. We have a temple. Uh, I got to go, for the first while, we actually got to go every six weeks to the temple. President Clark really wanted us to do that. When the new mission president got in, the church kind of informed him that we probably shouldn't be going that much as missionaries, our work is for the living, not for the dead. So we got to go at the halfway point and at the end of your mission. So I don't know if that's still the way it is, but getting to go to the temple was a huge blessing. And especially if you had a convert that got to go take out their endowments or got sealed as a family. That was really cool as well because there was a temple in the mission that you could go with them when they got sealed. So I served in St. Louis again as a Spanish-speaking missionary, which was a little bit different than as an English one because we had a bigger area. It was great because, you know, other elders were confined to a small area where they're teaching. And we said, yeah, we took the train down to downtown and taught someone. And then we drove up to St. Charles to teach someone else. And then we drove down South City to teach someone else. So I liked it because it was a lot, a lot of teaching and less tracting. But... I got to see a different side of St. Louis as a Spanish missionary because we spent a lot of our time looking for Hispanic people. I looked it up after I got home and I think 2% of the city is Hispanic. So not very much, but we got pretty good at recognizing where they lived and knocking on their doors and asking who else on the street you kind of find they live together, 
kind of big groups of families. And I got to know a culture and a language and food too of people that were kind of different from me that I've learned to love as well. A lot of them from Mexico. If you know the state Michoacan, that's a lot where a lot of them were from. Kind of a rougher part of Mexico that they came to the United States to look for work. And a big thing about serving as a Spanish missionary in the United States is we don't care where they come from. We don't care how they got here. We don't care what they're doing. We just care that they come to Jesus Christ as their Savior. As if they're here, we're going to teach them, and we're going to love them for who they are and the situation they're in.